hello everyone welcome back to my channel today i am cooking pepper soup the delta version the robo version i remember the first time i saw pepper soup on youtube i was really surprised i said oh my god who cooks pepper soup like this then i realized that there are different variation of pepper soup so people love pepper soup different ways and they cook it different ways so if you are used to a certain way let me tell you there are other ways to cook pepper soup so this one that i'm cooking is the robo version if you are from delta states is the delta state version i'm cooking one big difference between the urobo or the delta pepper soup is you hardly see fresh ingredients the only fresh thing you see is the protein either the meat or the fish we don't use onion we don't use fresh pepper we hardly use scent leaves some people might want to add it but traditionally we hardly use um all those fresh ingredients i have eaten the pepper soup made with uh, fresh uh, basil that is scent leaf i really enjoyed it i loved it so much so whatever version you're cooking as long as you enjoy it tastes good to you don't feel guilty we all love what we grew up eating so in this video i would like to show you how they make the delta pepper soup i want you to give it a try and see if you like it this food is good it's all around healthy that's why most people love it most culture they have a, a version of soup they eat whenever they are sick pepper soup is one of those you eat it when you are sick you eat it when you are happy you even buy it for when you are toasting a girl <laughs> shout out to all my subscribe viewers you guys are the best i remember when i was young anytime there's any celebration and we kill a goat some of the parts we don't add it to the main dish we use it to cook ukodo or pepper soup so like the intestine heart liver kidney and the intestine we tie it into knots we don't just leave it hanging like that you saw it when i was washing it we tie it into knots so that it, it looks presentable and don't forget though not shown in this video you have to wash the intestine let water run through it because you don't want to eat poop now that i'm done cleaning the meat i'm gonna fill the pot with water and put it on the stove top to cook for a few minutes or bring it to a boil before I rinse out the water. So let me introduce you to the spices. So I'm using Aden fruits, Negro pepper, Gafilo, Umilo, and Calabash nutmeg. I'm using Kanye pepper, some crayfish, seasoning cubes, salt those are the things i'm using so let me start prepping the the ingredients that i'm using so this is how I, I clean my crayfish as you know i just put them in the bag and whack them against the surface most of the times whenever i use crayfish i like to use it whole and ground so the the part that is whole i soak it in water rinse it before i use and the other part, I just blend it with a spice. So the, the other spice is the Negro pepper. The seeds, they are very, very bitter. So you need to remove the seeds. So I just get something hard and just um, whack it. So that I'll be able to um, beat. You have to beat it lightly. If not, the seeds are going to break and it's going to be difficult for you to remove them. So I just beat them lightly and try to remove the seeds like so so all done i'll move uh, to the umilo the shell is tough but the inside is a little bit soft so this is the buffalo you don't use all of them so i'm just gonna use half of this buffalo because if you use all it's very overpowering so i'm gonna blend the spices together with some of the crayfish for ease of blending so this is my this is my spice mix so back to the meat whenever i cook goat meat shaki all those stuffed meat i boil it a little bit and rinse it out i'm sure it is the blood 
I really don't like it. But if you don't mind, you can just cook it straight up. So it's all clean. See the intestine that I braided? Now it is easy for me to cut them into smaller sizes. If you want to leave them as they are, you are free. But I like to cut them to smaller size. Now they're going to stay woven. They're not going to fall apart since they're already like cooked into the shape. So I'm going to add water and start cooking. I'll let it cook for 25 to 30 minutes. So I'm going to start cooking with only salt, seasoning cubes and the uh, Aiden fruit. Because this Aiden fruit, you can cook it for a long time. The longer you cook it, the more flavor it is being released. So this is like 30 minutes later. So I'm going to add more water because I can see some oil floating on top. So that's the only way to remove the oil is to scoop it out. When you add more water, the oil is going to float to the top. Then you can scoop. So I'm going to scoop it out. If you don't mind, if you like it, you can skip this part. But I like to reduce oil. Oil is not good in pepper soup. That's why most of the time people use dry fish, dry meat, uh, things that don't produce a lot of oil. See? So I'm going to start adding the spices. So I'm adding the crayfish. Then I'll add the uh, pepper soup mix, the spice mix. So I'm going to add some seasoning cubes. Then I'll add the Kanye pepper. I'll mix together. Well, some people think pepper soup, because it's pepper soup, you have to overwhelm it with pepper. No. There are other spices. So it's a spicy food. Other spice with pepper, not just pepper alone. So I'm testing for salt. So I'm going to add some more salt. So if you are new to my channel, I want to welcome you to my channel. Thank you for stopping by. If you have been watching my videos and you are yet to subscribe, please subscribe to this channel, like the video, share it, and don't forget to click the notification bell. So I'm just going to add a little bit of uh, pepper. The food is practically done. Like I jokingly tell non-Nigerians that pepper soup is the easiest African food that you can cook. As long as you know the spices to use, very easy, no stress, one pot wonder that is equally delicious and healthy. How many food can you say is delicious and healthy? So food is ready, my people. Sometimes I wonder why people love this pepper soup. Is it because of the health value or what? I just, please tell me why people eat it during party when somebody gives birth. When you are taking girl out to the beer parlor, it's like this food is really, really very important and so beloved by many. So if you want to enjoy, if you want the maximum enjoyment, you need to add palm oil. That's how we eat it in Delta State. So I'm just going to add some salt and some uh, Cameroon pepper for, for heat. See? Your food is complete. This is how we eat pepper soup. Robo Wado. Hey. So thank you for watching. If you are not subscribed, please click the subscribe button, notification bell, like the video. Invite your friends. Stay safe. God bless you. Until I see you next time. I love you. And bye.